All right, guys, so we are in the kitchen this morning with the Rody Hen Cafe. I'm with over here, Tiffany, who's chef co-owner, Tiffany Barrera. We are, what are we making today? We are making huevos rancheros with carne asada. I love it. So before we kick off and talk about the ingredients, let everybody know where can you find, where are you located? So you can find our cute little cafe at 350 Prospect Street, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, right by Memorial Hospital. And I love it. We were just talking off camera. First of all, Tiffany just had a baby a month ago, <laughs> and she looks amazing. Thank you. Um, you know, you do this with your husband. I do. I love that. Yeah. Truly a family-run family, family business. just mom and pop restaurant, and um, just everyone that's been helping out has been all family. So it's been a, a great adventure so far. I love. I love that so much. Love it. So yeah. So we're obviously bring us through some of the ingredients. They look incredible. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be even better when it's the smell start happening. So whales rancheros and carne asada. Uh, we are gonna be doing our carne asada, which is gonna be our hanger take um, hanger steak take uh, steak tips. Looks delicious. And um, nice tender, full of flavor. Right. Our uh, frijoles. We use black beans, avocado, corn tortillas. We have regular eggs, but today we'll be using our duck eggs from my cousin's farm in Attleboro, um, Pine Valley Farms, and we'll be making fresh pico de gallo. I love it. Now, when you bring all of these ingredients together, we were just talking about how you make mm -hmm. sure they're fresh. Everything is, you know, everything that you have, obviously, at your cafe. Why is that so important to you? Because you can, you can taste the quality. You yeah. can taste when something has been made fresh. You can taste it when it comes from a freezer. You can taste it when it's been made, made a month ago. So our biggest value is to make sure that everything is fresh that day and to cook it fresh for you. I love it. You it's know? so important, you know, and I feel like, too, especially, too, that it's such a family-run business. You feel mm -hmm. like you're part of the family when you come and exactly. actually eat right at your cafe. Exactly. So I just love that about that. So stay tuned throughout the entire show today. We're going to have Tiffany with us. We're going to be bringing everything together. We're going to be mentioning, too, which you can't see yet, over over here, there's some more delicious things that you guys have created. I'm gonna we're gonna be a surprise a bit later, but keep tuning on in for now. Brendan, back to you. I want to send things back into the kitchen. Audrey, take it away. Thanks, Brendan. Yeah, we're back in the kitchen with Chef uh, Tiffany over here. Ooh, sizzling some butter. Yeah. Uh, the Rody Hen Cafe is with us. Don't forget too that the Rody Deal of the Day for our brunch week: two twenty-five dollar gift cards with the vouchers for only twenty-five dollars. So make sure you scoop those up. We're now getting into it. So, Tiffany, what are you doing right now? So, right now, I typically do the longest items that take to cook first before I do the eggs. So, I'm doing our hanger steak right now on the griddle. That's um, so and then I'll be doing our frijoles and the beans in the pan next to it. So, at the very end, all you have to do is just cook the eggs to the way that you want it. So. Now, you said that you had marinated this. Yep. So, we marinated this with a fresh garlic. We used Montreal steak seasoning, a little olive oil, salt and pepper. A little love massage into it, and you let I it love sit that. overnight for 24 hours to get the most flavor into it. Now, how long will now this stay over here? Over there, it just really depends on how you like your steak cooked. Okay. I'm more medium rare, rare side, but some people like it medium, medium well, or just shoe leather, depending right, on, right. You know, on how long mother. you want to cook it. She's like, I'm as, as, a dark, as black and charred <laughs> as you can get it exactly. on the steak side of things. So as this is going over here, so what else do we have on so going over here? So on this side, I just do a little bit of butter. And then you add your beans, the frijoles. Okay. And you just let those cook, get them warmed up. Oh, those smell And then delicious. when they're nice and warm, then you add mm. the pico de gallo to it, so it adds a little more flavor infused into the beans. Okay. And then we'll top it off with a fresh pico, too. So. so why don't we go to the duck eggs? Yeah, so duck eggs are amazing. And again, right from your cousin. Yep, uh, my cousin farm. John Rio, right out of um, Pine Valley Farms okay. in Attleboro. So as you can see, this is your chicken egg, and this is going to be your duck egg. So he has uh, ducks and geese, and he also has chickens there, too. You can buy the eggs from him locally. Um, but I wanted to try something different today, get the duck eggs out, promote them more, because they have a lot of health benefits to it. I was and just going to ask you what. Yeah. yeah. No, that's great. So, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, we said Tiffany's going to be here throughout the next segment, too. We're going to be bringing the entire, wow, those stuff, you're very good at that. I'm not nearly, <laughs> as, nearly as uh, savvy as you in the kitchen. So make sure you keep tuning on, and then we're going to be bringing everything together in our next segment. So for now, back Thank to you, you Brendan. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Man, how lucky are we on a Friday? The Roadie Hen Cafe gracing us with their presence. Chef slash co-owner Tiffany is here making huevos ranchos with carne asada. How did that sound? Sound great. I know. No, that's I, know. I, let I love the say accent. accent. <laughs> Would you say that it was Trey Bien? No. <laughs> Mucho bueno. Yeah, thanks. I just say it quickly and hopefully I can get through it. These guys are our roadie deal of the day, yeah. of course. $25 for two $25 mm -hmm. vouchers. So I went back and studied. I screwed it up earlier. In other words, a $50 value for $25. Mm -hmm. bucks. Correct. That's pretty darn good. So what's going on? What can I so, do, Tiffany? Well, I broke an egg, but it's okay. So, but either way, um, we have our steak tips that are done. I'm just letting them sit because if you cut into them right away, the juice is going to fall out and you're going to lose all the juiciness. Cool. Frijoles are done. We're just making our eggs right now. Can so I, I have a question? Yeah. You said these were the duck 
eggs. Are those they yolk usually that big? Yeah. Wow. And these are these are the uh, chicken eggs. So as you can tell, the yolks yeah. are already bigger than the actual chicken eggs. It is a lot eggs. bigger. Yeah. Wow. And just okay. the color is more vibrant and it's more of a buttery flavor. Okay. You know, than can just compare it to a chicken egg. You know. It looks and smells spectacular. Yeah, it really does. So while those are cooking, we're gonna do a quick plate over here. So over here. Awesome. Just stepping back. Yeah. Here. No worries. Look at how good that looks. So uh -huh. we're gonna put this all together here. And what we like to do is almost not completely cover the, fr the frijoles, but we like to add the steak on top of it. Oh my god! Because you want the juices good? to get in there. And <laughs> Tiffany, you're just you're, you're just you're just showing <laughs> off now. I know, right? Wow. And now Tiffany works with her husband. They yeah. Together, so is Antonio great. is the head chef there. I'm How is Antonio doing? He's doing great. He's with the babies right now, so he's uh, playing mom while I'm over here right Very now. Very good. Yes. That's great. Give him our best. <laughs> I will. And let's remind everyone of where you're located if they haven't heard so of you. So we are located at 350 Prospect Street, right in Pawtucket. Oh, love it. So love right Pawtucket. over there. Oh, that looks amazing. And you're going to oh take these, and we use uh, corn tortillas on top of that. Nice tongs out of the way. Yeah. Wow, look, look at that come together, too. huh? Awesome. So we're going to top this off here. How long have you been there? Okay. We've been there since November, so Great. about a year now, which is awesome. Well, if people are looking at this, it's going to be many more it's years. It's unbelievable. You know, and because this it's is just cool. something that he does with those steak tips. They just make it amazing. So what we do, we top off pico de gallo. And I'm going to do some fresh avocado on top of that. Oh my Look goodness. at all those vibrant colors. You know what some I like fresh to say? Huh? I like to say it's highly Instagrammable. It is. A, you know, <laughs> that's always a double And then we add up, a little right? sour cream Absolutely. to that. that so that's the dish. finished dish right there. I mean, wow. I don't know what to say other than you're a genius. And Just I love hopefully you. you're hungry. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> that's great. Uh, but for those, you know, unfamiliar, I'd imagine you right now kind of haven't been there quite a year yet, but getting to be yeah. part, become part of the fabric of the neighborhood and having some regulars. We're loving it. We have some really great neighbors that come in. We're starting to get a whole bunch of regulars now that are coming in on a daily basis, That's which great. is great to see. I love the and name Rody Hen. Rody Hen, yeah. Perfect. I love that. So. What else do you have over here? So over here, um, as you can see, I made some fresh blueberry muffins coming in today. So we always have blueberry muffins and corn muffins every day, mm -hmm. especially if you want to grill them up with some fresh maple butter that we make in-house. We have our chicken and waffles, um, freshly breaded, two delicious. orders, so they're not frozen. Are under um, underrated but amazing lox and bagel dish over there with the everything bagel toasted, and then we have our banana pancakes served with a banana Foster's topping on that. I that think looks I so good over put there. Put on yes. five pounds just looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Look at the beverage options. Yeah, we have a yeah, full liquor license, so um, I like to feature as much local as possible. So right. we have. Local beers from Smug Brewery and from Foolproof. We have our Bloody Marys that we make our own Bloody Mary mix, and I make my own pickles to go with it. Wow. And then, when you, how can you go wrong with mimosa? Aye. So, freshly squeezed OJ with some Prosecco, and we just do small bottles with it, so, you know. Can't I'll, have a amazing. I'll have a mimosa, but <laughs> hold the OJ. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's the way I like it, too. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. And uh, anything else we need to know? Happenings at the uh, Happenings, cafe? Um, we are hopefully going to be opening Friday and Saturday nights within the next month or so. Great. That's great. So we're going to be doing a small little dinner menu, mostly like tapas stuff, just fun little foods to drink with and to have your buddies come by. And just, I love that. Just a good conversation type of restaurant. And what are the hours for breakfast and lunch? So we're open Monday through Sunday, and we're open from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Outstanding. Perfect. And perhaps Easy. into the nighttime in the future. Into the night in the future. Hey. And then today, with it being Friday, we have fresh fish and chips, so come on down. Love it. Starting Love at that. 11. If I find some friends, we'll come by. <laughs> okay, uh, this is chef slash co owner Tiffany Barrera. Yes. Thank you very much. You're Make welcome. Sure I, got, I nailed the, uh, the dish, but of course, the name <laughs> right, right, is so right, easy. Right. Of the Roadie Hen Cafe. Thank you for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Thank These you. These guys are our Roadie Deal of the Day. You can get one out at roadiedeals.com and, of course, get the recipe at roadshow.com. Right now,